I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. We are in War Trace, Tennessee, population 650. And this very small town does have a very big deal. <laughs> and you know, Jen, I love the stories where we talk about how something is made. Especially when it's made in America and it's a family business. So, uh, want to go make some beautiful music together? <laughs> sure, let's go. <laughs> that Gallagher sound that rings like a bell. <laughs> Legendary musicians from Doc Watson to Zach Brown have made Gallagher guitars ring out from the stages of Nashville and around the world. And we found third generation owner, Stephen Gallagher, what else? Trying out a guitar. His parents, Don and Jean, were working nearby, and Don took a little time out to give us some Gallagher history. It starts really in 1939 with my father started making furniture here in War Trace. In the early 60s, we uh, began to transition from furniture to guitars. In 1965, we were doing it as a full-time business. The Beatles, Elvis, all you know, the, old, the folk movement, all that generated real interest in acoustic guitars. I had that one. A, yeah. You know, I was in a little folk group. <laughs> you know, Is that right? I what? didn't know that about her. Yeah. I'm just learning this. Wore the long skirt, <laughs> had the long hair, and my guitar. You yeah. still got the long hair. And I still have the guitar. <laughs> All right. It's not a Gallagher. Oh, well, we'll have to work on that. <laughs> you know, one thing you said a while ago, I think it was really interesting. You considered yourself a family of craftsmen. I've never heard that term, but that is really accurate. The sawdust was in my blood, and I just really enjoyed it. So I've made my life career, of it, and now I'm just so excited to be able to pass it on to Stephen and uh, let him carry on with it. We got to see the handmade ledger that has been used to log who bought every single Gallagher guitar from the early 1960s through today. Oh, look, there's Hank Williams, Jr. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Charlie Daniels. Oh, Tom Wopad. What would you tell someone is special about a Gallagher guitar? The love that's put into the making of it. That's what's special about it. That love is what Stephen Gallagher puts into every inch of a Gallagher guitar. And with Rodney's love of woodworking, these two hit it off right away. I've already put this rim together. We've bent the sides. Uh, we've put in the blocks. And do you so, make this? We do. That's just a... Uh, poplar wood and that, that we just use. just comes right in here, right? Yeah, yeah, you just bend it right in there. Go on, yeah. Oops. <laughs> you know what? You know what they say. <laughs> what? What do they say? A good luthier can always hide his mistakes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> here we are making one of the famous Gallagher guitars, and what happens? A little piece just snaps. And I'm thinking, how much are they gonna charge me for this guitar? Stephen took me through the steps of making a Gallagher and even showed me some vintage machines his grandfather designed. While another expert luthier, Seth, added his magic to the neck and head details. While Rodney covered the woodworking, I looked around and found seasoned luthier Mike Howell adding the perfect finishes to Gallagher's newest creation. So this is like the final step. This is it right here, yep. Pressure's on, baby. <laughs> strings, strings get on there and uh, gets all you know, cleaned up and it's ready to go. Listen to that. Yep, it's just finding out it's not a tree anymore. <laughs> Mike's right. Just a short time ago, that guitar was a tree. Now I'm getting to help make it. I'm getting really attached to it. Hey, Jen, I've been looking for you. Hey, I am finishing up the guitar. Well, you missed the tour, but <laughs> looks like you're learning something. No, I learned a lot. Here, do you want to do the honors? What do I do here? Okay, we are putting the last string on. Okay. And yeah, you wind it. Go, 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 go. Tighten more, Listen, Mike. Here, here. here. Oops. Okay. There we go, that's perfect. I'm just glad I didn't break the string. I mean, one broken part a day is enough for this rookie luthier. <gasps> so it's tuned. Okay, strum, strum. Not only are they handing down this kind of craftsmanship, but they also have musical talent as well. So I wonder if they adopt this girl from Missouri, would some of that Tennessee talent rub off on me? Uh-oh. There, you have to put your fingers in the right place. 
That is beautiful. Thank you for letting me help. The care and detail that these expert luthiers put into every guitar shows why owning a Gallagher is such a special thing to a seasoned, and maybe a not so seasoned musician. Rodney Miller, rookie, luthier, and beginning musician. Not bad. A guitar is kind of a special thing. You know, it kind of has a soul of its own. Let that old river rise and fall. And after what we've seen and heard here today, I think Jan and I agree. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.